Hey, shut the fuck up, Pickle. So, what do I do? So this is a match that I was playing with Pickle, fucking Magnus, and whoever, Polar Bear. And I'm in the 109 F1. And they're in the 109 G2s. Um, because reasons. And <laughs> we're going to have this little fight against this Hellcat. <coughs> and it starts off, it should have been a lot easier for me to kill this person than it was. But I derped somewhat hard, and I uh, missed them entirely. And, uh, well, you know... <laughs> But now it's me and the one and I, Magnus is going to go off and do something else. And me and this Hellcat are, well, I mean a Hellcat, it's a 3.7 plane, I believe. The 109F1 that I'm in is a 2.3 plane. We cannot meet each other in normal matchmaking, and it is the British Hellcat Mark I, but it doesn't matter, they're the exact same plane. Um, and, well... <laughs> As you can see, during this fight, I barely use any flaps at all. I just use flaps every once in a really long while. I really don't need to use flaps. Because, well, it's a 109, and uh, that's a Hellcat. Also, something extremely important that I've done that nobody else in their 109s will ever do. So if you're wondering how am I magically able to outmaneuver a Hellcat, I pretty much cut throttle almost entirely. I do throttle up, like right here. I'm going to go back up to WEP. You can hear the engine. But then I'm going to throttle back down. And I'm staying slow. I'm not letting him... Something about the Hellcat, it bleeds speed extremely quickly when it turns aggressively. So if you're in a 109 which doesn't bleed speed aggressively and you don't cut throttle, they will... And yeah, I know, I do kind of suck. <laughs> but I'm working on it. So because I've cut throttle so much and because I'm intentionally slowing down, I mean, you saw how many opportunities I got. And he's not dead, by the way. He's still not dead. I damaged him quite severely, but he's still not dead. Shut up, Pickle, for the love of Christ. I'm kidding. But um, anyway, I'll never get mad at you guys for spamming me. And a lot of you guys do spam me a lot. And he's still not dead, by the way. I don't know why the game has unspotted him. Uh, and as always, I'm not going to kill him for quite some time. Pretty sure he's still up. He, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's still up. And now Polar Bear is going to take his opportunity to miss. And, again, I have no idea why he's not spotted. He, he's not dead yet. It's just replay glitches, you know. And Polar Bear plowed into the ground because because reasons. So, <laughs> and yes, the 109F1, it can pretty much keep up with the Hellcat, especially after you've damaged the crap out of them. But again... This time, instead of cutting throttle, I stayed aggressive, and I had way too much energy, and I overshot. So I'm going to cut down under him so he can't get a shot at me. If I would have stayed pulling up, he would have got a shot at me. And now, instead of cutting throttle to stay behind him, I'm going to use all that extra energy to out-energy fight him instead. It's a drastic, basically 180-degree change in my fighting style, and it's things like that that keep people off guard. And now I'm going to cut throttle and just sit on his tail. Well, I'm not going to have to sit on his tail because I'm going to kill him, but... Well, I didn't kill him, I just shot his elevator off, but that's enough, so he is going to go down now. So two things you'll notice. The 109F1, despite being significantly lower rank than the Hellcat, it's pretty much better than it. The Hellcat, I think, has a slightly higher rip speed, and is very slightly faster. And other than that, the 109F1 is just better in every way. I mean, <laughs> it just is. The Hellcat does get a better ground attack loadout, but uh, not very relevant, so... Anyone who's crying about how underranked American planes are, just shut up and fly the 109F1. It's it's worse. Or better. The other thing I want you to notice is just how much I had to shoot off his plane for him to go down. It's This game is kind of bipolar sometimes, and whether or not it wants to just instantly gib an enemy when you poke it, or if you really just have to club the crap out of it. That's nothing specific about this plane. Usually it's cannon instantly gibs anything it hits. Sometimes it just blows giant chunks off and the plane keeps flying. It's just... <laughs> shit happens. So, I'll see you guys next time. 109F1. I... I... Oh... 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 And mine... Mine is slightly covered in rainbow dashes, but it's Nabuto's fault, so... Blame him. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>